let, let me move on to the third area that I wanted to explore. I think underlying everything you said so far is a notion of a PhD as a journey, doing a PhD as mm -hmm. a, constituting a journey. And it strikes me there are two ways that we could approach that, one in terms of project management and one in terms of personal development. So to take the project management one first, if I walked around the libraries in your university, I would think I could find shelf after shelf of books about project management. So there's no shortage of ideas and advice and guidance about project management. But in your experience, if I put you on the spot and said, if we're looking at PhDs of project management, what's your best insight there? Um, I think by virtue of the PhD being a three to four year degree, it definitely is a project. It's not uh, it's not only a project, but a very dense and heavy project. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you get stuck at one part of it, it's very hard to advance as smoothly and as quickly as you want. So for me to to go into that journey and any advice I would give my younger um, kind of colleagues who are maybe at the beginning of their PhD or those people who are trying to uh, to apply for a PhD is discipline and growth. So um, some prog programs are more disciplined than others. Um, in some program you have deadlines that are set for you from day one until the end. Uh, for others, you have just very broad deadlines, maybe one a year, once a year. You have a report uh, year one, report year two, and then you are expected to submit during the, the third year. If you just stay at that, I think it's very hard to move yes. um, smoothly. So yes. you, basically, you need to break down that big project into small pieces. And uh, not only break it down, so you have to break it down in small pieces and set deadlines that you abide yourself by. Um, on a regular basis, not again, uh, just uh, every uh, three months I will submit something. What yeah. are you going to submit during my, your next meeting with your supervisor? Yeah. And I'm mentioning supervisor uh, particularly because these are the people who are responsible not only to guide you to literature, but also to uh, hold you accountable for deadlines that you meet. So, And you you should discuss as a PhD student, so, you should discuss your deadlines uh, and how you are going to achieve these tasks with your supervisor, not only for them to uh, to check on you every now and then, but also to learn from their experience and their expertise in how mm. to achieve that goal. Yeah. Uh, other pa some papers or some deadlines or some tasks are easier than others. Some of them are very diverse, uh, and you need to um, to get as much help as you can, uh, particularly from your supervisor. Um, also, you need in terms of growth. I think you need to look at your PhD journey as an incremental um, kind of knowledge uh, seeking process. So you, you are expecting, you should put yourself um, in, in a position to learn something new every single day. Yeah. Uh, hopefully in your, in your uh, field of study, in your, like your niche, but also in other uh, areas that will develop, you are becoming a, like an expert. An expert is not one narrow uh, focused uh, road. It's quite a diverse. Yes, you need to deep to go deeper into one topic, but you need to widen your your scope to be able to speak, the, like the minimum to be able to speak to other people in the field who are not as expert in your area yes. as you are. So growth is again is the second uh, keyword alongside discipline that I really stress. Yeah. Uh, and you to push yourself into that growth uh, path or that growth journey. You need to benefit from your surroundings. You need to change the place where you study. You need to uh, maybe make collaboration with people like let's go and study at this place at that time or uh, have peer pressure, as they say, like uh, meet, set deadlines with your uh, colleagues, even if they are doing totally different degrees, uh, let alone topics. Um, take breaks when you, when you need, go to the library at some time. For me, uh, one of the things that I found very funny, um, other people might find it, or at least other people might find it funny, I find it very helpful, was to go to the library, uh, especially during exam seasons, when all undergrads okay. are all over the place in the library, trying to catch as, as much information as possible, prepare their essay uh, plans, etc. I used to go and have my corner and just like get that momentum. I felt like because other parts of the year, everything is so quiet and the PhD mm. is already not that much of an enthusiastic process. So <laughs> you need whatever motivation, whatever momentum there is. And I think the exam period is one of these uh, pushing uh, phases during a PhD. 
absolutely. And I'll just I'll just mention in passing a bit of a tangent, but um, sitting in the same place every day at the same desk with the same bit of computer equipment is ergonomically not very good for you. And actually, the advantage of the kind of thing you're talking about is so sort of, I'll try different places at different times. And, you know, perhaps you've got your laptop in one place and a desktop in another or whatever. It's actually good for you in terms of health as well as motivation. Definitely, so. definitely.